In this video, we'll be doing some more problems evaluating expressions containing reciprocal trig functions. Recall that the reciprocal of sine theta is cosecant theta, the reciprocal of cosine theta is secant theta, and the reciprocal of tangent theta is cotangent theta. Our first problem will be the secant of 10 pi over 3 plus the cosecant of a negative 7 pi over 2. So our angles are in radians. Let's draw some reference triangles so we can work with these. 10 pi over 3, I would think of that as 3 and 1 third pi. So a positive rotation, there's 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and then a third would be in quadrant 3. When our denominator is 3, we have a reference angle of 60. So our sides on this triangle, the side opposite the 60 is a root 3, and then the other one is 1. Um, because this is left, it's negative, and this one's down, it's negative as well. With this one, uh, we have 7 pi over 2. I would think of that as 3 and a half pi. And it's a negative, so I need to rotate clockwise. Um, three and a half pi, so one pi, two pi, three pi, and then a half a pi puts me up here at 90 degrees. Now whenever I have to work with a quadrantal angle, I need to get values of x, y, and r. So for this point, which has coordinate 0, 1, my x is 0, my y is 1, and r is 1. Right, so secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So my cosine of this reference angle, 10 pi over 3, um, my cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's a negative 1 half. So for secant, I want to flip this upside down. So I now have a negative 2 over 1. Plus, my cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So the sine of that angle is y over r. So y is 1 and r is 1. Now when I flip this upside down, it's still 1 over 1. So I basically have a negative 2 and a positive 1 added together, so my answer is negative 1. All right, on this one, cotangent 17 pi over 6 minus the square root of 6 times the cosecant of a negative 9 pi over 4. 17 pi over 6, I would think of that as uh, 2 and 5 sixths. So my reference triangle I need a positive rotation. There's 1 pi, 2 pi, and then 5 sixths would put me over in quadrant 2. When my denominator is 6, I have a reference angle of 30 degrees. So I can put my numbers in. The hypotenuse I'll make 2, the side opposite the 31, and then the other side is root 3. This is to the left, so it's negative on uh, negative 9 pi over 4. 9 pi over 4 is 2 and 1 fourth. So 
a negative rotation, these are negatives, I have a negative 1, and then there's 2, and then 1 fourth of a pi would put me in quadrant 4. Uh, when the denominator is 4, I'm dealing with a 45 degree reference angle. So this is 1, 1, root 2. And uh, the one below the axis is negative. All right. Cotangent is a reciprocal of tangent. So my tangent of 17 pi over 6 is going to be 1 over a negative root 3. So my cotangent then will be the reciprocal of that, which is just a negative root 3 over 1, minus square root of 6 times, now on this one cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so my sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 1 over root 2. The reciprocal of that is a negative root 2 over 1. Now if we do our math here, we have, there's 1's in the denominator, a negative root 3. Uh, negative times negative is positive root 12. And we know that the square root of 12 is 2 root 3. So this is negative root 3 plus 2 root 3, which gives us just 1 root 3.